Hi Taurus, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Taurus Sun, Moon, or Rising. And as always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Taurus and the message could be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general readings. And so go ahead and take whatever applies to you and your situation and leave the rest for someone else. If you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one -on -one reading, my website information is down below in the description box. Just go ahead and subscribe your email there, and that way I'll send out an email notification whenever my availability opens up. And as always, thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing, and thank you for, oh dear, thank you for all the ways that you have supported the channel. I appreciate it so, so, so much. Okay, Taurus. Oh, right. Wow. Okay. This is a very poignant energy truth. I feel as though some of you guys, um, I definitely feel like there's something going on in your process that things have been a little bit more difficult than they've needed to be. Okay. Like, I'll just put it that way. With the warrior, I feel like... Oh, this is really cool. The medallion. This popped out on the ground, so I am going to go ahead and take it, okay? So, things going on over this next week. You might have... This is a very interesting combination, okay? So, I feel as though when it comes to your process, you've been working really hard at something. It feels as though something has been really, really hard, and it could be because, like... You kind of had, this is such a fascinating archetype because I feel as though you see the creator card over here, how it's all this color, this light. You have like this idea and you've been going off of an idea of what you could do, what you could create. It's not bad. I just think that maybe this is something that you guys have already learned. I don't really know. But there's something here about kind of like being the energy. Because I feel like what you've been doing is you've been working really hard to kind of like create your creativity and your reality. And this, the creator card, is about like integrating the energy. Like being it. Being creative. I don't know if that makes sense. Because I feel as though what's been happening is you've had this ideal, Taurus, or kind of this, um, a little bit of an ideal of what will bring you happiness. Maybe it's even a person. For some of you guys, I feel like this even could be manifesting in a human. You know, that that's how these frequencies play out sometimes is kind of like if you keep coming to a particular connection and it's kind of like it's challenging or it feels like there's roadblocks. It's really just these projections of what you're going through in this in internal process because you haven't maybe truly stepped into your creativity, whatever that is for you guys. And everyone's, everyone is creative in some way, shape or form, like however that is that it manifests for you. But all in all, you are a creator. There's something about like maybe coming even to the realization that you are the creator of your own reality and just starting to understand that more and more and trying to get more in control of actually shifting your frequency because that's where you're going to see more things change and things happen in a more truthful but yes magical way as well because I feel as though you have the Kairos card which is synchronicities that will probably be coming in okay this is my time and space don't exist card and then we have truth so for some of you guys there could have been something about your synchronicities that has been a bit confusing because you have truth and you could have started to see like kind of like if you start to think about something a lot, it will manifest. But there's a difference between you conjuring up things and then the, the universe will come in and show you symbols of it or show you signs that yes you are creating this in your reality to show you that you're a powerful creator okay 
that's the entanglement that goes on because it's really freaking weird. It's like once you put something in your mind that you don't have a lot of like emotions and serious attachment to, you'll see it come in quite quickly. Like if you choose something, you'll see it. Like I had that recently with dogs. It was the weirdest thing. So anyway, um, sometimes like the way that humans control and manipulate things is they think, okay, now I'm going to go in that direction. I'm going to take action because the synchronicity is happening. So obviously it means that I meant to contact that person. And no, it's just the frequency. Like it's just how powerful you are that your mind will bring in signs of it in your reality. But it doesn't always mean to take action. It's just showing you like here you're getting on a momentum. And then there's definitely a difference of when... Okay, let me explain it in this way, because there's almost this thing that happens when you start to finally make that connection that you're creating your synchronicities. And once you get so caught up in the magic, it actually conjures up joy because you're realizing like, oh, wow, like if I can do that, then it starts to make you believe in the magic of the universe. Then when you're in a higher frequency, something will come into your mind about action to take or something along those lines. And so it's something about your process. And that's kind of what I'm getting with the medallion is over this next week, once you kind of come to the truth, because I feel like what you guys have been doing is maybe misinterpreting synchronicities or you've been going towards something or and maybe it's even directed toward a specific person. You keep thinking like, well, I see all these synchronicities of this person and I that means I need to go there. No, it means that there still could be a huge connection between you and another person. Or sometimes, like, there's all sorts of things. I hope I'm not confusing the shiz out of you guys. But it's kind of like, um, you can still have your psychic or intuitive abilities where you start to see signs before people reach out to you or signs that they're still thinking about you. So you have to, it's a very truthful, honest card. Okay. That's why I like the truth coming in next to the synchronicities because there's almost kind of like a truth coming about, about your synchronicities. I don't know. Let's dive into the cards. All right. Okay, that's actually, so his deck is a little different. It says death, but this is actually the full card. This is the very first card in the deck. Because every time, yes, there is a, a new beginning in your life, it usually does come with some type of an ending, a transformation, letting something go. So that might be what you guys are kind of like, depending on where you are at in this process, you could be in this process of releasing old layers of yourself. Something is falling away about you oh yeah this is the judgment card that's the unknown okay wow let me dive into that one taurus oh what is that there's a card flipped up oh i love these cards okay cool cool all right and then we have the veil oh no i'm sorry i think that is no that's the star card okay and then we have the geomancer let me grab two more and we'll start diving into these meanings. Okay. Taurus. What fell on the ground? We had the wander. Okay. So this is what I think is happening. So you might be in this process of something is ending and I feel as though your transformation on yourself is naturally bringing something to an end and it's it's because of a lot of intense focus on yourself and you remember what i said a layer of yourself falling away whatever that means to you guys because you have to think about it you're you are not the same person that you were 10 10 15 years ago because there's been enough cellular restructuring that's happened to you based off of your experiences, based off of the food that you eat, based off of everything. Your cycles are constantly going through this regeneration process. And then based off of your environment or things that you're doing with your body is going to be dependent on how your DNA activates with kind of the amino acids that you put into your body. 
in your environment and the foods that you eat. So you are, you're just this huge chemical combination of everything. And however much you guys are focusing on your whole connection, on getting your mind and your body connected back together, it's kind of like connecting all the energetic um, spots in your body that may have been disconnected over time through acid that had been entered into your body or environment and traumatic relationships and just a bunch of experiences that accumulated to cause maybe the lights to shut off in some way, shape or form. Your process of that dissolving away and like I said, turning the lights back on in you is going to naturally light up this new beginning, okay? That's why I love the Fool or the Death card combined with this unknown because this energy, I feel like what's going to come back around, uh, you guys might see this very quickly, if you're really observing your environment and observing your process, judgment could be an energy resurfacing, okay? Because yes, it's a rebirth, so you might have an opportunity or a situation or a relationship that wants to come back in and also you're kind of going through a repeat of a process. Make sense? Like that might open up for you guys through this new beginning as you dissolve away the like and turn on the energetic lights. It's the alchemy part, okay? That's super important just because, and I'm going to talk about these court cards that are coming out, these other archetypes. So you have the veil, all right? And I feel as though you guys are about to pierce through something. Because like I said, this is like the star card, which is like wish fulfillment. But no, you're, there has been some type of a, you haven't been able to see, right? Because that's the veil. It's not being able to see past an energy or maybe see into a solution or see beyond something. And this is where you're going to have some type of a breakthrough this next week, okay? Some type of where you like pierce through the veil. You almost like see the clarity enough to have understanding of what you need to do because you're finally figuring out this process as far as just getting really into yourself and following just what brings you joy, okay? But yeah, it is about that mind-body connection, which is going to suck you into the unknown. And all of a sudden, you're going to be kind of in this surrendering process and where you do get kind of a peek through something that has felt like a bit of a barrier for some time. So when you get this little peek, there could be possibly people that come in. That's very possible. If But if they're not actual peeps, they could also be like where you get these understandings or this truth that black and white card it's gonna inspire you with the creator card because all of a sudden you're gonna start to feel like something is coming in with the medallion like some type of answer or or opportunity will be coming into you and it could be from one of these archetypes okay so we have sorry <laughs> i keep doing that we have the Geomancer. In this deck, it's representative of the, I believe, the Queen of Pentacles. So, and this is really powerful because this is someone who works with the Earth. This could be an herbalist or this could be like someone who knows how to work with the quantum mechanics of chlorophyll and, you know, working on photosynthesis of the body. So that's why I love this card because it's something about, yes, grounding energy, getting connected to Earth. That might be very beneficial for you, like as far as getting you connected or, you know, allowing you to kind of regenerate your energy and just to to get into these truths. You might also see more synchronicities when you get out into nature or whatever that is for you guys. Okay, so there's that part. And then you also have the Wanderer. And for some reason, Taurus, I feel like this is you. Okay, because I feel as though once a little bit of this alchemy or transformation takes place, you might be meeting, not only meeting some people, but it might take you in a little bit of a different direction because you have over here, you have the mender. So that could be you, a little bit more of some water energy coming in as far as like maybe being near a body of water or working with water as far as the alchemy too. But there's something here about earth and water that will bring some sort of a transformation and some type of action it's like you're combining all of these three taking action on something working with like i said this alchemy between water and earth 
and it might bring a transition here. Six of birds is like the six of swords. So some of you guys, I wouldn't be surprised if something opens up through this process as far as travel or an opportunity or something here. It looks really freaking good because this might take you to a better situation, something that's much better. Let me show you really quickly these other cards that popped out. And I'll dive into these in the extended, but it looks like you're coming into some type of opportunity here with the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles or trees, okay? So we'll dive into the into that, Taurus. So if you guys want to join me in the extended, of course, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see it over there. But Taurus, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love, wishing you all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.